If you drink alcohol socially, what helps ensure safe driving? A. Drink coffee before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. C. Take a cold shower before driving. D. Stop drinking one half hour before driving. B. Ride home with a friend who has not been drinking. One strategy to avoid driving while impaired or intoxicated is to arrange for a ride home with a friend who does not drink. Drinking coffee or taking a cold shower cannot reduce your blood alcohol content or reduce the effects of alcohol. On average, it takes about an hour for the body to eliminate the alcohol from a single drink. Road rage and aggressive driving may be reduced by a. Allowing extra travel time. B. Obeying posted speed limits. C. Using proper turn signals. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. As an increasing number of drivers populate the roadways, road rage becomes more prevalent. To help prevent road rage, a driver should use proper turn signals, obey posted speed limits, and allow plenty of travel time. This sign means A. Stop ahead. B. Buggy warning. C. Limited parking. D. Do not block intersection. A. Stop ahead. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers that there is an upcoming stop sign and that they should prepare to come to a complete stop before proceeding. When exiting a highway, you should slow down. A. On the main road, just before the exit lane. B. Once you see a toll booth. C. Once you have moved into the exit lane. D. When you first see the exit sign. C. Once you have moved into the exit lane. When exiting a highway, you should get into the exit lane well in advance. Do not begin to slow down until after you have moved into the exit lane. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. You may drive across a dashed white line? A. At any time. B. Only during daylight hours. C. When it is safe to change lanes. D. Only when passing a motorcycle. C. When it is safe to change lanes. Traffic lanes moving in the same direction are separated by broken white lines. You may cross over dashed lines to pass, if it is safe to do so. Emergency vehicles? A. Have the right of way when using sirens, horns, and or flashing lights. B. May use a loudspeaker to give instructions. C. May follow each other. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must yield the right of way to police cars, fire engines, ambulances, or any other emergency vehicles using a siren or air horn and a red or blue flashing light. Follow any instructions given over the emergency vehicle's loudspeakers. Emergency vehicles often follow each other so you should proceed only when you are certain the way is clear. When you hear the siren or see the flashing lights of an approaching emergency vehicle, you must A. Slow down until it passes you. B. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. C. Motion for the emergency vehicle to pass you. D. Merge into the right lane and continue driving. B. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. Yield the right of way to any approaching emergency vehicle that is using its flashing lights or siren, regardless of its direction of travel. You must immediately drive to the right side of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed.
If you are within an intersection, pass through the intersection before coming to a stop on the right side of the road. When you approach a railroad crossing without flashing warning signals or crossing gates, you should a. Cross the tracks immediately and as quickly as possible. b. Always stop before crossing the tracks. c. Prepare to yield to any train at the crossing. d. Speed up to beat any oncoming train. c. Prepare to yield to any train at the crossing. Always be prepared to yield to any oncoming trains before crossing railroad tracks, particularly if there are no lights or gates controlling the crossing. Never start to cross the tracks until there is room for your entire vehicle on the other side of the tracks. Due to the risk of a vehicle stalling, it is not wise to shift gears when crossing railroad tracks. To enter a freeway? A. Signal, yield to existing traffic, and enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. B. Signal and enter the freeway. Freeway traffic must yield. C. Drive slowly so you can check traffic. D. Always come to a complete stop first. A. Signal, yield to existing traffic, and enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. When merging into traffic, you should signal and enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. Always yield to other traffic when entering a roadway. When approaching a steady green traffic light, drivers should a. Continue driving, unless there are vehicles or pedestrians already in the intersection. b. Stop if a police officer is nearby. c. Treat the intersection like a four-way stop. d. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. a. Continue driving, unless there are vehicles or pedestrians already in the intersection. When approaching an intersection with a steady green traffic light, yield to pedestrians in the crosswalk and vehicles still in the intersection. You may continue driving, but should approach the intersection at a speed that will allow you to slow down and stop if the light changes before you get there. This road sign means A. The road ahead curves right. Slow down to the safe speed indicated. B. Divided highway begins. Slow down to the safe speed indicated. C. Merge. Slow down to the safe speed indicated. D. Winding road ahead. Slow down to the safe speed indicated. A. The road ahead curves right. Slow down to the safe speed indicated. These signs indicate that the road curves to the right ahead and that drivers should slow down to the safe speed indicated in this case, 35 miles per hour. This sign means A. Crossroad ahead. B. Flagger ahead. C. Lane ends. D. Turn right or go straight. A. Crossroad ahead. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming intersection. When driving on roads that may be slippery. A. Always drive at the maximum speed limit. B. Use cruise control to maintain a steady speed. C. Reduce your following distance. D. Do not make any sudden changes in speed or direction. D. Do not make any sudden changes in speed or direction. You should avoid making any sudden changes in speed or direction when driving on a slippery surface. Reduce your speed on slippery roads and do not use cruise control. This road sign means A. The left lane is reserved for vehicles with a specific number of occupants. B. Specific turning movements are allowed from specific lanes. C. Do not enter. D. Drivers in both lanes are responsible for merging smoothly. 
You are waiting to turn left at a multi-lane intersection and opposing traffic is blocking your view. You should a. Accelerate rapidly when the first lane you need to cross is clear. b. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. c. Wait for an oncoming driver to wave you across the intersection. d. Edge your car into each lane of opposing traffic as soon as it clears. b. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. You should never start a left turn until you can see that all the lanes you need to cross are clear and that you can safely make the turn. If a crossing guard is directing traffic in a school zone, you must a. Follow the directions given by the crossing guard. b. Copy what surrounding traffic is doing, despite the crossing guard's instructions. c. Assume the guard is not supposed to be directing traffic. d. Follow rules that would be in place if no children were present. What should you do if your vehicle's right wheels leave the pavement? a. Stop quickly. b. Immediately pull all the way off of the road and get back on when it is safe. c. Accelerate and steer back on the road quickly. d. Take your foot off the accelerator, slow down, then ease back onto the road when it is safe to do so. d. Take your foot off the accelerator, slow down, then ease back onto the road when it is safe to do so. If your vehicle's right wheels leave the pavement, don't panic. Take your foot off the accelerator and steer parallel to the road. Slow down and ease back onto the roadway by keeping both hands on the steering wheel and steering into the road's right lane with a small turn of the steering wheel. Check for traffic around you before steering back onto the pavement. If you miss your exit on an interstate expressway? A. Stop and make a U-turn. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. C. Roll down your window and ask the driver next to you for help. D. Back up on the highway. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. If you miss your turn or exit, do not back up or try to turn around on the highway. Go to the next exit and safely turn around. When you hear a fire engine siren behind you, you must a. Slow down until it passes you. b. Drive with your flashers on. c. Pull over to the side of the road and stop. d. Speed up and take the nearest exit. c. Pull over to the side of the road and stop. When you hear the siren of an emergency vehicle, you must pull over to the curb or side of the road and stop. Signs indicating areas of public recreation are a. Orange b. Red c. Green d. Brown d. Brown Signs that are brown indicate areas of cultural and historical significance or of public recreation. They can be a helpful resource when traveling in unfamiliar locations. This sign means A. T intersection. B. Lane shifting. C. Side road. D. Do not block intersection. A. T intersection. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that they are approaching a T intersection and should prepare to turn either right or left. This sign means a. Slow down if an emergency vehicle is approaching. b. Look both ways as you cross the intersection. c. Always come to a full stop at the intersection. d. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. d. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. 
Decrease your speed as you approach an intersection with a yield sign. Prepare to stop and yield the right of way to vehicles and pedestrians in the intersection or crossroad. You must come to a full stop at a yield sign if traffic conditions require it. When passing other vehicles, A. Check your mirrors and blind spots. B. Honk your horn at least three times. C. Re-enter your lane within 10 feet of the passed vehicle. D. There is no need to signal. A. Check your mirrors and blind spots. Before passing another vehicle, check your mirrors and blind spots. Before changing lanes, activate the appropriate turn signal. Re-enter the lane when you can see the front of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. When you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights, you must A. Slow down and keep moving in your lane. B. Keep driving in your lane. C. Pull to the right curb and stop. D. Stop exactly where you are. C. Pull to the right curb and stop. When you see an emergency vehicle using its lights or hear it using its siren, you must immediately pull over to the curb or side of the road and stop. Distracted drivers are at a greater risk of a crash when they are using which of the following? A. CD player. B. Radio. C. Cell phone. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Using a cell phone, including a hands-free phone, or any kind of audio device, including a radio or CD player, can be a dangerous distraction and contributes to the risk of a crash. On a two-lane street, your vehicle is being followed by a fire engine that is not using its emergency signals. You should A. Continue to drive in a normal manner. B. Stop as quickly as you can. C. Speed up to get out of its way. D. Slow down, move as far to the right as possible, and stop. A. Continue to drive in a normal manner. If you are being followed by an emergency vehicle that is not using its siren or flashing lights, you do not need to clear a path. Continue driving in a normal manner. This sign means A. All traffic must turn. B. Turn right at the intersection. C. Parking area ahead. D. Crossroad ahead. Watch for traffic. D. Crossroad ahead. Watch for traffic. This sign warns of the presence of a crossroad ahead. If you see this sign, you A. Must not pass another vehicle. B. May pass a slow-moving vehicle if you can do so quickly. C. May pass if you know the road ahead. D. May pass, but only at night. A. Must not pass another vehicle. Regulatory signs are white rectangular signs with black markings. Drivers must obey the instructions posted on all regulatory signs. Where this sign is posted, it is prohibited for drivers to pass one another. To be safe when crossing a railroad, you should a. Look both ways, but only when the red light is flashing. B. Listen, look both ways, and then proceed if it is safe to do so. C. Cross especially quickly when a train is approaching. D. Quickly pass under any lowering gates. B. Listen, look both ways, and then proceed if it is safe to do so. Railroad crossings are always dangerous. Drivers should look and listen for an approaching train coming from either direction before proceeding across the tracks. Watch for signals indicating an approaching train and never proceed until you are certain it is safe to do so. You come to an intersection displaying a flashing red light. You should 
a. Come to a full stop and go when it is safe to do so. b. Stop only if other cars are also approaching the intersection. c. Stop only if other cars are already within the intersection. d. Slow down and be prepared to stop, if necessary. a. Come to a full stop and go when it is safe to do so. A flashing red traffic light has the same meaning as a stop sign. You must stop, yield the right of way, and go once it is safe. When changing lanes, you should a. Rely on your mirrors. b. Begin signaling as you move into the next lane. c. Signal at least 500 feet before your lane change when driving on residential streets. D. Always check your blind spot. D. Always check your blind spot. Other cars and motorcycles are often hidden in a vehicle's blind spot, so be sure to glance over your shoulder before you begin a lane change. Begin signaling 100 feet before changing lanes or turning in a residential area. Signal 5 seconds in advance when changing lanes on a freeway. This road sign means a. The road ahead turns sharply right, then left. b. The road ahead turns sharply left, then right. c. The road ahead curves to the left. d. Construction ahead. a. The road ahead turns sharply right, then left. This sign indicates that the road ahead will turn sharply to the right and then to the left. This green arrow on a lane use control signal means A. You may use this lane. B. No traffic is allowed in this lane. C. You have the right of way. D. You must merge into this lane. A. You may use this lane. A steady downward green arrow over a traffic lane means you may use the lane indicated. This sign means A. No U-turn. B. Two-way left turn. C. Minimum speed limit. D. No parking. A. No U-turn. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. Wherever this regulation sign is posted, U-turns are not permitted. This sign means A. Winding road. B. No parking. C. Right lane closed. D. Multiple turns. A. Winding road. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that they are approaching a winding road and that they should adjust their speed accordingly. When you see other drivers around you acting or reacting in anger. A. Don't make eye contact. B. Don't react with hand gestures. C. Distance yourself from the situation. D. All of these. D. All of these. When other drivers are behaving angrily, you should take action to physically and mentally distance yourself from the situation. Avoid making eye contact with them, or making body movements or gestures that could provoke them. Slow down, move over, or do whatever you safely can to put yourself out of danger. This sign means A. Yield. B. Crossroad ahead. C. Keep right. D. Yield ahead. A. Yield. Traffic signs with three sides of equal length warn drivers to slow down when approaching an intersection and to be prepared to come to a complete stop to yield to other drivers or pedestrians. Drivers may proceed when it is safe to do so.
When passing a large vehicle, the driver of a small vehicle must be prepared for a. Loud noises. b. Excess air pollution. c. Wind gusts produced by the large vehicle. d. Falling vehicle parts. c. Wind gusts produced by the large vehicle. Large vehicles can cause wind gusts with a force great enough to cause direction changes in smaller vehicles. Drivers of small vehicles should be prepared to take proper corrective steering action when approaching or passing large vehicles that are moving at or near maximum speeds. A yellow and black diamond shaped sign? A. Warns you about conditions on or near the road. B. Helps direct you to cities and towns ahead. C. Tells you about traffic laws and regulations. D. Tells you about road construction ahead. A. Warns you about conditions on or near the road. Warning signs, which tell you about conditions on or near the road ahead, are usually diamond shaped with black symbols or words on a yellow background. If an aggressive driver cuts you off, you should A. Call the police immediately. B. Stay calm and move out of the aggressive driver's way. C. Flash your vehicle's lights to let the aggressive driver know he is wrong. D. Use a driving action of your own to get back at the aggressive driver. B. Stay calm and move out of the aggressive driver's way. If an aggressive driver cuts you off on the roadway, stay calm and get out of their way. Trying to get even with an aggressive driver risks escalating the situation and increasing the danger.